If you think back to the last time you were in pain, your reaction might have been something like this. <sighs> Swearing in response to painful stimuli is a pretty common human behaviour. But for a long time, psychologists thought it was a bad idea, that swearing puts you in a negative state of mind and makes you think you're in a worse situation than you actually are, something called catastrophizing. To test this, back in 2009, researchers at the University of Kiel came up with an experiment. You fill up a bucket with ice-cold water, ask people to put their hands in it and see how long they can withstand the pain. Okay. We decided to recreate this experiment very rigorously with a self-selecting sample of pain junkies here at the RI. In one condition, you let the person use a swear word. Probably f Probably Probably go you And in the other, they say a neutral word. Word. Legs. <laughs> <laughs> the authors hypothesised that swearing would make the pain worse because of the catastrophizing effect. But as you can see, what they found was quite the opposite. OK, I can't. <sighs> <laughs> Flat. Flat. Ah. Ah. Table. Table. <laughs> that is much worse. Legs. Okay. Hard. 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 No. I'm not doing it. <laughs> <laughs> So why does swearing help you withstand pain? This is Dr Emma Byrne, a scientist and author of the book Swearing is Good For You. In the trial where they swear, they can keep their hands in ice water much longer, on average about half as long again as when they're not swearing. And what's more, afterwards when they're asked how painful the ice water felt, they will say that actually while swearing it feels less intense, it feels less painful. It felt the same, like it was the same amount of pain, but more manageable. I say we should all swear, all the time. Sorry, Mum. In some follow-up experiments, the authors found that the effect still holds for people who don't tend to swear much in daily life. So, what's going on here? We know that swearing is a highly emotive part of language. There might be something emotional going on. But we can also measure emotions outside of the brain. We can spot them in our physiology. Your hands getting sweaty or your heart rate rises. And sure enough, when people are doing the swearing condition, if you measure things like their galvanic skin response or how sweaty their palms are getting, or if you measure their heart rate, you'll see that they are reacting physiologically to an emotional stimulus far more than they are in the neutral condition. One idea for why swearing helps with pain is that saying these emotionally charged words triggers our fight or flight response, hence the increased heart rate, by putting us into a state a bit like aggression. To explore this idea further, the same group designed an experiment to put people into a more aggressive state by making them play the first-person shooter video game Medal of Honor. Compared with participants that played a golfing game, Tiger Woods PGA Tour 2007, the first-person shooters ranked more highly on measures of aggression, had higher heart rates, and were able to withstand the ice bucket experiment for longer, which seems to support the idea that something like aggression could be involved in easing the pain response. But things aren't completely clear-cut. In another more recent study, swearing was found to increase people's strength and stamina on physical tasks, but in this test, the authors didn't find any of the physiological responses associated with fight or flight, such as increased heart rate. They hypothesised that perhaps swearing acts as a distraction or maybe makes people feel less inhibited, and that's why their physical performance increased. For now, exactly why swearing has these effects on pain tolerance and strength remains unknown. Essentially, knows. Hey guys, thanks for watching. We tried something a bit new with this video, so let us know what you think in the comments below. Also, the RI is now on Patreon, so if you like what we do and you want to support our work, then please click the Patreon logo above.